Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today is a miscellaneous day. Right now, I'm over at the shed so that I can offload that two inch insulation. Natalie and I went and got nine sheets of it last night and return some stuff that was unneeded bunch of stuff and now it needs to come in here i'm going to make room for it back there and then i am going to cut it into 14 inch strips that is the first layer of insulation that goes up underneath the deck in the addition there gets glued to the underside of the deck and then foamed around the edges so I got to offload that. I have a hose. Crazy dog. Oh, she, oh, she's just got a stick. I thought she was pulling out one of my plants. I have a hose on that upper hydrant. I got to take that off for the winter. It seems like winter is settling in, so I really need to get some of this stuff straightened out. All this stuff's got to get out of here. Them totes got to come over here. Uh, barrels got to go in the greenhouse if they're full. There's one that's not full, which needs to come in here to catch the rest of the cutoffs here. Just stuff like that. I'm not going to be able to do all of that today. It's just stuff that has to get done in the next few days before we get more snow and this stuff's all stuck to the ground for the rest of the winter. Wow, she is just going crazy getting a little bit of exercise. She'll run herself in giant figure, figure eight patterns and kind of burn off some energy. I don't even know where she is now. She's up in the pasture. There she is. <laughs> she went in over here and popped out at the top. Really quick dog. But the last thing that I really, 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 really need to do today is get the inside of the addition cleaned up. It's a mess again. Uh, last time I cleaned it up, it was full of the burnables that have since been burned. And now it's kind of messy from installing the doors. And we have hunters coming on Saturday. It is Thursday today. These videos are, are not put out on the same day that they're filmed. It's Thursday today. We got hunters on Saturday, so I got to get this cleaned. And it just so happens that while the hunters are here is the like the last two days I can see in the forecast when it's above 40 and the foam glue wants to be above 40 so while they're here they don't take up a lot of space so I'm going to while they're out hunting I'm going to work on half the room and start getting this foam in and then I'll shift them to the, the half that's foamed and then I'll do the other half. That's my plan. But before all that can happen, I got to get my day job work done. So I'm going to do this uh, cleanup and all this stuff, then get right to work on my day job. So this will be a short video. All right, let's get to work. <laughs>
Okay, a little bit of issues with the crazy dog there. She just goes nuts with wheelbarrows, hand carts, you know, anything small with wheels like that. She just goes insane, wanting to bite the wheels and barking and jumping at it. And if she was out when people were pulling away, she would probably chase, chase cars and bite at tires which uh, is a good way to have a dead dog. Okay, I got to wrap this up out here real quick, but I think I'm going to get them totes over here and then wrap it up out here and then clean the whole edition, and that'll be it for today. So let me get them totes over here and then move on over there. I'm going today now this is already I got to make these these are the hold downs for that foam when I put it up between the trusses these will be screwed to the top cord of the trusses right at the right at the very end and it's the right size to push nice and tight on the foam while the foam dries the foam adhesive takes at least 24 hours to dry under ideal conditions. This is going to be colder. You know, it's going to be in the 40s during the day for two days, but at night it's going to drop down, you know, in the mid-20s or so. So the clamps, which are these, need to be left on, I'm going to guess, two days. That's what I'm going to do anyways. And I have this stack of wood right here to cut for clamps. So with all of them, I should be able to get half of the foam in place and then uh, let it sit for two days or a day and a half, maybe. I don't know. I'll test it. And once it's dry, move the clamps and start, or remove the clamps and start doing the other side. All right, that's as far as I'm going to take it over here. I still got to get this stuff. And there's not much left to do. I'm just going to organize this stuff. But I still have work to do over here over the next couple days. I got to get these things cut and do some other cutting. So I need to roll the saw out and work out there. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to just do a little bit of organizing over here. All I need is for when winter comes, the plow person needs to be able to plow, well, right where them bins are. They, he comes and clears the, the stuff that the township plow plows it up in at the edge of the driveway. He comes and clears that and then comes all the way up to the shed door here and back blades it. So, and then plows that over there. So I have to have a nice clear aisle for that. Need to move the rocks, get them kind of in a pile over as far to the edge as I can and just this stuff out of the way. So not much left to do over here. But then I got to get in and get that stuff cut and got a lot of stuff to do in the next couple days, but Today, I really have to get the day job stuff done and get that addition organized so this stuff can wait. Okay, I'm over here in the addition project. It's not really all that messy. It's mostly right here where I was working on the doors. Then I brought some other stuff in here that, you know, these are the the clamps I spoke of, that's for, it fits on that top cord 
and we'll press the two inch foam in these open bays. I brought a couple over to uh, test them out and they're gonna work fine. So I have gypsum in here that has to get spread, but it can't go outside because it can't get wet. It, it really dissolves pretty easy. Got lock sets here. It's just kind of disorganized. Um, I'm finally pretty much done with these horses, but I know I'll need them in here again. So I just got to get everything kind of in a decent spot and figure out how I'm going to how I'm going to get this foam up here with the hunters in here as well. Figure out which side to put them on initially and then how to switch them over to the other side kind of halfway through their stay. Okay, I think I'm just gonna have at it, start throwing stuff away. Some stuff can just go outside and sit out there. And I think I'm gonna put my vest on because it's a little chilly out here. This is uninsulated, kind of. It has the foam on the outside, so the sun rays that it catches heats it up fairly nice in here but hot air rises and that all that is is rubber and three quarter inches of OSB up there. So that's where you lose most of your heat to start with and it's uninsulated up there. So it cools off here pretty quick. So I'm gonna throw that on and get cleaning. short video but like I said got a lot of work to do today this is not as clean as I want it but it's a start this all this stuff here some of it has to go 
down to a burn pile tomorrow. I'm going to get that burned, including the mess up from the door jam, cardboard, and the rest of this stuff is going elsewhere. Most of it's going over to the shed, but I got to fill that tank there as well tomorrow. That six inch hole saw, those are really dangerous to use, but I'll be using it soon. That's what I'm going to be using to cut the vent hole up there. And I, I broke down and got some six inch insulated flex duct, which is what I used for the ducts everywhere else in the house. But I only needed like, oh, two feet or three feet for that. And you got to buy 25 feet and it's expensive. So I was going to cheap out and use this this flexible aluminum duct which would work but if you don't have up in the ceiling cavity there if it's not really well insulated around it i'm afraid i'll get condensation and you don't get condensation around the insulated flex ducts so broke down and did it and it'll be a lot easier to route and get through that opening up there but i'll show you that one when i get to it and i do have the i have a nice vent for that as well that has to be done real soon as well because now the downstairs bathroom is venting into here which of course you can't have so yeah lots of stuff so if you want to see that stuff Make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. A thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. And if you share the video, it helps the channel out greatly. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. I generally answer them all. Thanks for watching and have a great day.